Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see Mathematics Olympiad paper of class 9, previous year paper 2023. Question paper set B. I have already posted a video in logical reasoning and achiever section questions. You can find the link in the description box. You can also find other Olympiad papers of class 9 in my channel. I have given the playlist link in the description box. Do watch. Before going to the video, do subscribe my channel for more videos. Let's move into the video now. And mathematical reasoning is your second part of your paper. Your paper would contain totally 50 questions with a time duration of 1 hour. And the first part is its logical reasoning. In this you will be having totally 15 questions, each carry 1 mark. And the second section is it's mathematical reasoning. In this, you will be having 20 questions, each carry one mark. And the third section is everyday mathematics. In this, you will be having 10 questions and each carry one mark. And the last section is its achiever section. You have five questions and each carry three marks and the questions will be in higher order of thinking. So today we are going to see a questions in mathematical reasoning and everyday mathematics. Question number 16, find the value of given expression. So what is given here? 1 by 2 whole to the power cube. So it can be written as 1 cube. 1 cube is 1 and 2 cube is 8. So 1 by 8 minus 2 by 3 whole to the power 4 is it's 16 by 81. I'll just put a bracket. And in the second part, minus 2 by 3 whole to the power minus 4. Here you can see the power it is in negative. So we have a formula, right? Min a to the power minus m can be written as a to the power m to make the power as positive. So what you have to do is just take the reciprocal of the given number minus 3 by 2 whole to the power 4. So the next step is, it is a fraction, no? In the first part, uh, 1 by 8 minus 16 by 81. So just take an LCM. So 8 and 81, so the LCM for 8 and 81 is it's 648. And here 81 minus. So what is 16? What is 16 into 8? It's 128. Into minus 3 by 2 whole to the power can be written as 81 by 16. Then 81 minus 128 is it's minus 47 divided by 648 multiplies 81 by 16 and this 68 648 will go for 88 uh, 8 times in 81 table so the remaining part is minus 47 divided by 128 so the answer is it's option b question number 17 in the given figure not drawn to scale o is the center of a circle its radius is 13 centimeter Cord AB is equal to 20 cm and cord CD is equal to 24 cm. The length of PQ is equal to. So radius is given that is OA and OC it is a radius. Cord AB equal to 10 cm and cord CD is it's 24 cm. The length of a PQ is we need to find this length. So what is the first step? Let me take this triangle. Triangle OQA. Let me take this triangle OQA. In this OA is equal to 13 centimeter. Then what is OQ and what is AQ? Right. So here AQ. How to find AQ? Already we have the length of the cord is it's 10 centimeter. AB is equal to 10 centimeter. So how do you get this AB? AQ plus QB, it's nothing but AB. We have one theorem. It says any line which is drawn from the center to the chord, it's a perpendicular bisector. So definitely this OQ, it's a perpendicular bisector to the chord AB. So what you will get? So AQ is 5 cm and QB is, QB is 5 cm. And you will be getting A, B as 10 cm. So any line which is drawn from the center to a chord is a perpendicular bisector. Hence AQ is it's 5 cm. Since triangle OQ is a right angle triangle, no? so you will go for the Pythagoras theorem. 
and just find out the length of OQ. So to find the length of OQ, just apply Pythagoras theorem. So we have a formula, right? Pythagoras theorem. Hypotenuse. What is hypotenuse here? It's AO. Hypotenuse square is equal to AQ square plus OQ square. So AO is here 13. So 13 square. AQ is it's 5. 5 square plus then OQ is we need to find. So 13 square is 169. And 5 square is it's 25. Just transpose. And OQ square. 169 minus 25 is 144 equals OQ square. Hence, OQ is equal to square root of 144 is its 12. So, this measurement is its 12 centimeter. In the same way, you have to find out for PQ. So, let me take the triangle. It's OPC. In this, OC is equal to 13 centimeter. It's a radius and cp or pc whatever it is so again cd is a card whereas qp you know this line act as a act as a perpendicular bisector to the chord cd so what is the measurement of cd here it's 24 so perpendicular bisector means the measurement of cp is it's 12 centimeter and you have to find out what is pq again apply same pythagoras theorem if you do so, then you will be getting the PQ value is it's 5 centimeter. Okay. Just do it yourself. The Pythagoras. Apply the given values in Pythagoras formula and you will be getting the value as PQ is 5 centimeter. Finally, the length of PQ is that is OP plus OQ. So OP, sorry, yeah, I have given it's PQ now. Here it's OP, not PQ. So OP equal to 5 centimeter. So 5 plus, already we got OQ is equal to 12 centimeter. So 5 plus 12, it's 17 centimeter. So option D is the right one. Question number 18. In the given figure, if AE is equal to AD and BD is equal to CE, then options are given. So here, uh, we can write two triangles with the name Lee. A, E, B, one triangle is A, E, B and another triangle is it's A, D, C. According to, according to the question, A, E and A, D are equal and C, E and B, D, these two sides are equal. So let me draw the rough diagram of A, E, B triangle. So just draw a rough diagram. It's A, E, B, A, E, B triangle. And in the same way, draw a duplicate triangle which is similar to A, E, B triangle and name the triangle with the second triangle that is ADC ADC triangle so now you can see that AE this AE side and AD side both are corresponding and AB and AE are corresponding sides EB and DE are corresponding sides just compare two triangles so one thing we can get is the side AE and AD are equal because it is given in the question and the second point is in both the triangles the angle a angle a is common the reason is commonly present in both the triangles and in the third one side ac is equal to ab so what is the reason yes it is already given now these two sides are equal in length and these two sides are equal in length so when you add AE plus EC must be equal to AD plus BD. So definitely the side AC is equal to AB will be equal. So by what condition we can say these two triangles are congruency? Yes. By side angle side congruency. By side angle side congruency. We can tell that these two triangles are congruency. That is triangle AEB is congruency to triangle ADC. Right. So this AB and this side AC becomes equal by this condition. Hence triangle AEB is congruent to ADC. By which congruency rule? By SAS that is side angle side congruency. 
question number 19 the shape of the figure obtained by joining 0 comma 0 and 6 comma 0 and 6 comma 6 on the graph paper is an equilateral triangle or scaling right angle triangle or trapezium so what do you do just draw, draw a rough graph y x y dash and x dash so what is the first coordinate it's 0 comma 0 so you can mark it here it's 0 comma 0 then 6 comma 0 means here y axis absent so let us mark simply here it's 6 comma 0 and the third coordinate is it's 6 comma 6 that is x is 6 and y is 6 so let us assume this is 6 so 6 comma 6 can be placed here then connect all the vertices all the coordinates you will be getting like this so what type of right, uh, triangle you got definitely this is a right angle triangle so the answer is it's option c question number 20 find the value of given expression so cube root of 8 can be written as it's 2 cube root of 8 is 2 and cube root of 64 is 4 divided by cube root of 1000 divided by 343 is 10 by 7 into cube root of 125 is it's 5 so 2 by 4 multiply 7 by 10 into 5 so what you will get here 5 5 cancel the answer is it's 7 by 4 option a is the right one question number 21 in the adjoining figure a b c d is a square a line segment dx cuts the side bc at x and the diagonal ac at o such that angle c would is equal to 105 degree and angle o x c equal to x degree find the value of x so since a b c d is a square no so this diagonal a c will bisect this vertex, vertex angle c so what is the angle of c here it's 90 degree because the interior angle of a square is 90 degree no so the diagonal of a square would bisect the vertex angle so this must be 45 degree and this must be 45 degree so how to find the value of x very simple by using the exterior angle property you can find the value of x so what is the exterior angle yes for this triangle that is ocx triangle this 105 is an exterior angle so we know the we know what is exterior angle so this exterior angle have you got the exterior angle yes the exterior angle is equal to sum of the two interior opposite angles what is the two interior opposite angles so one is x and another one is 45 degree so exterior angle is equal to sum of two interior opposite angles so just transpose the 45 to the opposite side so you'll be getting the value of x so 105 minus 45 is 60 degree so the record answer is it's option c question number 22 if both x minus 2 and x minus 1 by 2 are the factors of a given polynomial expression then the options are given so it is given that x minus 2 and x minus 1 x minus 1 by 2 are the factors of the given expression then definitely p of 2 is equal to 0 and p of minus sorry p of p of 1 by 2 is equal to 0 now what you do just find out what is p of 2 so in the place of x you substitute the value 2 so the given expression is px square no so p p of 2 whole square plus 5.22 plus r is equal to 0 so 4p plus 10 plus r is equal to 0 mark it as equation 1 then you find out what is p of 1 by 2 so substitute 1 by 2 in the place of x p of 1 by 2 whole square plus 5 into 1 by 2 plus r is equal to c so what is p of 1 by 2 whole square it's p by 4 and next one is it's 5 by 2 plus r is equal to zero so here what we do means just rewrite the equation let's take the lcm the lcm is 4 so 5 plus it's 10 plus 4r whole divided by 4 is equal to 0 
again rewrite p plus 10 plus 4r is equal to 0 so mark this equation as 2 just re rewrite the equation 1 like this for our, e for our easily for easy understanding purpose so 4p plus r is equal to minus 10 and the second equation can be written as p plus 4r is equal to minus 10 right so here what I am going to do is this I am going to rewrite this equation 2 with respect to p so this becomes minus 2 minus 4r now substitute this p value in the equation 1 so you will be getting 4 into minus 10 minus 4r plus r is equal to minus 10 so minus 40 minus 16 r plus r is equal to minus 10 minus 40 minus 15 r is equal to minus 10 so minus 15 r equals minus 10 plus 40 how much it's 30 so minus 15 r is equal to 30 so r is equal to minus 2 that's all so now just substitute the given value uh, sorry just, just substitute the value of r over here so what you will get minus 10 minus 4 bracket minus 2 so finally what you will be getting minus 10 plus 8 equals minus 2 right so again what you are getting p is equal to minus 2 and r is also equal to minus 2 hence the answer is it's option a p is equal to r Question number 23, a bag contains 7 slips labeled as 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 3, 4, 6 and 5. A slip is drawn at random. Find the probability that the number of number on the slip drawn is a prime number. So what is the probability of getting a prime number in the given, uh, uh, given 7 slips? 2, 3, 5. So there is a favorable outcome here is it's 3. But how? what is the total number of outcome here? It's 7, no? So what is the required probability here? So the required probability, you, you have the formula, right? Number of favorable, number of favorable outcome, it's divided by total number of outcomes. Total number of outcomes. So what is the total number of outcomes? So how many data are given? 7. Out of 7, the favorable outcome is it's 3 because 3 prime numbers we have right 2 3 and 5 so this is the possible outcome so the answer is it's option uh, it's option d 3 by 7 question number 24 the simple interest and compound interest on a certain sum for two years are 800 and 880 respectively the rate of interest on both the sums is same if the interest on the sum lent at compound interest is compounded annually then find the rate of interest so here they have given you the simple interest amount and the compound interest amount and for the number of years is for two and the rate of interest is not given and the principal amount is not also given but here you have to find what is the rate of interest right so let me take the principal as p and rate of interest as r since it is given uh, compound interest is given no so we'll be using a compound interest formula that is si is equal to p r t by 100 so what is SI over here? It's 800. So 800 is equal to PR. Number of years is it's 2. So 2 by 100. Then write down the equation with respect to PR. So 800 into 100 divided by 2. Which so the value of PR is it's 40,000. Just keep it for, uh, for the reference. And the second one thing, second thing is they have given you compound interest is 880 rupees amount. Uh, we have a formula, right? P A is equal to P bracket 1 plus R by 100 whole square. So what is the formula? Not whole square, it's to the power n. Now what is the purpose of this? Yes, you can calculate the compounded amount, right? So but here they have given you the interest amount only. So if you want to calculate interest, 
compounded interest only you have to subtract your principal from this compounded amount so now i will be using this formula so that i am getting i will be getting the compound interest so since they have given you the compound interest amount is it's 880 no so just write this equation so p bracket 1 plus r by 100 and number of years is it's 2 minus p just take uh, in right hand side no you can you have a two terms so i am going to take p as common over here so the remaining is 1 plus r by 100 whole square minus 1 so keep your left hand side as it is later we will be use use that 880 first we'll solve the right hand side part so i am going to apply a plus b whole square formula so the formula becomes 1 plus when you expand this 1 plus, 1 plus r by 100 whole square by using the identity a plus b whole square you will be getting 1 plus 2r by 100 it's 2ab no plus b square it's r square by 10,000 minus 1 so this plus 1 and minus 1 would cancel with each other so the remaining part is p bracket 2r the remaining part is it's 2r by 100 plus r square by 10,000 so it's just a fraction no so what you will do you just take LCM so if you take LCM the denominator has to be become 10,000 so I am multiplying uh, this 2r by 100 by 100 on both the numerator and denominator so I am getting 200 r plus r square divided by 10,000 so now we will be taking r as commonly out from the numerator so the rest of the terms will be like this 200 plus r by 10,000 now you can use the left hand side it's 880 what is the next one you have to substitute the value of pr over here it's 40,000 no 40,000 200 plus r divided by 10,000 so just cancel out this both the terms and the remaining is here 880 so 800 and 80 equal to 800 plus 4r so finally 4r is equal to 880 minus 800 is it's 80 then r is equal to it's 20 so what is r it's rate of interest no so 20 percentage hence the answer is it's option d Question number 25, in the given figure, not down to scale, AB parallel to CD and PQ, QR intersect AB and CD both at E, F and GH respectively. Find the value of X. So where is the angle X? You have to find out. Which you have to find out? Yes, this particular angle you have to find out. Since the question is it is given as AB and CD is parallel, so if these two lines are parallel means then definitely PQ act as a transversal line. And if this is 80 degree means and this is also 80 degree, why? Because both angles are corresponding angles. And let me consider the PQ is a line. It's a straight line. So if it is a straight line means this 80 degree and this particular angle is it's 100 degree. Why? Because these 80 and 100 are linear pair angles. So always the sum of two linear pair, sum of uh, two linear pair angle is 180 degree. So this is 100. Now let me consider the triangle GQH. So in this triangle GQH, this 120 degree act as an exterior angle property. So by using this exterior angle property, which is equal to sum of two opposite interior angles. Exterior angle is equal to sum of two opposite interior angles. So x is equal to 120 minus 100 which gives the value of x is 20 degree that's all so the answer for this question is it's option b 20 degree question number 26 if a is equal to root 5 minus root 3 
divided by root 5 plus root 3 and b is equal to some expression is given then find the value of a plus b plus a b so just apply the rationalizing the denominator concept so first we will find out what is the value of a here so here a is root 5 minus root 3 divided by root 5 plus root 3 just apply the rationalizing the denominator and multiply the denominator on numerator and denominator just by changing the sign root 5 minus root 3 so in numerator you will be getting the, see just apply the distributed law like uh, root 5 has to be multiplied with, with these two terms and again root 3 has to be multiplied with these two terms so root 5 into root 5 it's 5 then root 5 into root 3 it becomes minus root 15 and again minus root 15 then plus 3 root 3 into 3 is root 3 into root 3 is it's 3 in denominator you can see it looks like a plus b and this looks like a minus b so a plus b here a minus b means you can rewrite as a square minus b square no just use our identity so a square minus b square means root 5 whole square minus root 3 whole square then simplify the numerator so 5 plus 3 is 8 hence minus root 15 minus root 15 you will be getting minus 2 root 15 in the denominator part root 5 minus root root 5 whole square can be written as 5 and minus root 3 whole square written as 3 so 8 minus 2 root 15 divided by what is 5 minus 3 it's 2 and we can do some more simplification in the numerator part now you can take 2 as common so 4 minus root 15 divided by 2 so this 2 2 would cancel so the remaining part is it's 4 minus root 15 in the same way we'll solve b so root 5 plus root 3 in the denominator root 5 minus root 3 by rationalizing the denominator concept just multiply the denominator on both the numerator and denominator just by changing the sign so in the denominator we have negative sign so just change the sign into plus again you apply the same distributed law so root 5 into root 5 becomes 5 and root 5 into root 3 it's root 15 then again root 15 then plus 3 in the denominator same identity so you will be writing less root 5 minus root 5 whole square minus root 3 whole square again in numerator 8 plus 2 root 15 5 minus 3 so 8 plus 2 root 15 divided by 2 in numerator just take down 2 as common here so 4 plus root 15 divided by 2 and just 2 do get cancelled so now we'll move on to the question find the value of a plus b a plus b plus a b so what is a here a is my 4 minus root 15 and b value is it's 4 plus root 15 plus you have to multiply a b in the sense so 4 minus root 15 and b value is it's 4 plus root 15 see here plus 4 here plus 4 so you can write as 8 here minus root 15 here plus root 15 it will be cancelled to each other but this looks like again a plus b into a minus b so you can rewrite so again you can rewrite this as 4 square minus root 15 whole square so the next part is 8 plus 4 square is 16 and root 15 whole square can be written as 15 so 16 minus 15 is 1 so 8 plus 1 is equal to 9 so the answer for this question is it's 9 yes the answer is it's option D question number 27 the number of girls in class 9 is 
7 more than 2 third of the number of boys which of the following can be the linear equation of given given situation so let me take the number of boys as x let me take number of boys as x and number of girls as y so according to the question girls is 7 more than 2 third of number of boys so girls is 7 more than 2 third of, so 2 third of number of boy can be written as 2 by 3x. 7 more than means it's plus 7. So what is the standard form of linear equation? It's ax plus by plus z is equal to 0. So I rewrite this equation in the form of standard form. So you'll be getting 2 by 3x minus y plus 7 is equal to 0. And 2 by 3 no, so in denominator we have 3. So in order to remove this denominator, I have to take LCM to the whole equation. So 2x minus 3y plus 21 divided by 3 equal to 0. So just transpose 0, 0 to the opposite side. So remaining will be 2x minus 3y plus 21 equals 0. So this is the required equation. It's option A is the right one. Question number 28, 29. The given double bar graph shows the marks obtained by Rinky in science and max in four tests. Study the graph carefully and answer the following question. Question number 28. Find the average marks obtained by Rinky in science in all the four tests. So what is the mark scored by Rinky in science? So science is a solid or rectangle, no? So here 70, here 80 and here 90 and here it's 60 so average means you have to add all the marks in the four test divided by total number of test how many test it's four so just add in the add the numerator it's 300 300 divided by 4 is equal to 75 option b is the right one then the second part of the question is find the ratio of marks scored by Rinky in science in test 1 and test 3 together to the marks scored by her in max in test 2 and test 4 together. So in science and max test 1 so in science uh, the test 1 she scored is it's 70 in test 3 the ma science mark is it's 90. And coming to the max, in test 2, how much mark she scored? It's 80. And in the fourth test, she scored max, it's 70. So the question is, we have to find the ratio. So just first add these ones. So 9 plus 7 is 60, 160. And here 150. So 160 is to 150, 0, 0 get cancelled. So finally 16 is to 15 is the required ratio. Hence the answer is it's option C. Question number 30, a bag contains X red balls, X plus 5 blue balls and 3X plus 10 white balls. If the probability of drawing a white ball is 11 by 18, then what is the number of blue balls? So what is the total number of balls here? So the first, the total balls can be calculated by x plus x plus y and add all the number of ball, the color, color balls over here. So here red ball, x plus y is number of blue balls and 3x plus 10 is its number of white balls. So when we add these, so what you will be getting? x plus x plus 3x, it's 5x plus 15 so this is the total number of balls now the question is what is the probability of drawing a white ball is 11 by 18 then what is the number of blue balls so what is the probability of drawing a white ball probability of drawing a white ball what is the favorable outcome yes 3x plus 10 Divided by total number of outcomes. So total number of outcome is nothing but its total number of balls. It's 5x plus 15. Right. So this fraction is equal to 11 by 80. Now we have to solve this. So 
So just make a cross multiplication over here. So 18 into 3x plus 10 is equals 11 bracket 5x plus 15. So what is 18 into 3? It's 54x plus 180 which equals 55x plus what is uh, 15 into 11? It's 165. Now keep the variables on one side. So 54x minus 55x and move the constant to the opposite side. So minus x equals 180 minus 165 is 15. So minus 15. So this minus minus would cancel. Finally x is equal to 15. So the question is what is the number of blue balls? So number of blue balls is here x plus 5. So 15 plus 5 is equal to 20. So here we have 20 blue color balls. Option B is the right one. Question number 31. In an isosceles triangle, the difference between its base and one of its equal side is 4 cm. If its perimeter is 28 cm, then find the area of the triangle. So it is an isosceles triangle, no? So two sides are... Isosceles triangle have two equal sides. Let me take it as x. And the base is x plus 4. Why? Because here the difference between the base and one of its equal side is 4 cm. No? Hence the base can be written as x plus 4. And the perimeter is given. What is perimeter? Sum of all the sides. x plus x plus x plus 4. So perimeter is given. 28 equals 3x plus 4. 3x is equal to 24 and x is equal to 8 therefore the a the two equal sides are 8 and the third side that is the base is here it is 12 so now the question is find the area of the triangle so we all know about the herons formula so we'll be applying this herons formula first find out what is the half of the perimeter that is a plus b plus c a plus b plus c is nothing but three sides of a triangle 8 plus 8 plus 12 by 2 so what is the answer it's 14 half of the perimeter is 14 now what is the herons formula says so the area of triangle abc is equal to square root of s bracket s minus a bracket s minus b and s minus c just substitute the given values. What is S here? It's 14. Then what is 14 minus 8? 14 minus 8 is it's 6. And what is 14 minus 8? Again 6. Then 14 minus 12 is 2. Right? Then finally you will be getting when you while multiplying 14 into 6 into 6 into 2, 1008. Just do the prime factorization. If you want to find the square root of 1008, just make a prime factorization for 1008. And finally, the answer is it's 12 root 7 centimeter square. Answer is it's option C. Question number 32. If x and y vary directly, then find the value of the given expression. So it is given that x and y are vary directly. So 12 by 22. This ratio is equal to a by 56. Now you can find the value of x. So 12 into 56 divided by 21 equals a. a. So in which table? Yeah, we can go with the 3 table. So this becomes 7 and this becomes 8. So the value of a is it's 32. Again, we'll find the value of b. So 12 by 21 this ratio is equal to 36 by b. So 12 into b divided by 21 equals 36. Therefore b is equal to 36 into 21 divided by 12. So 12 threes are 36 and the value of b is it's 63. In the same way, we'll find we will find um, 
in the same way we will be finding the value for c and d 12 by 21 it's directly proportional no so c by 84 so 12 into 84 divided by 21 equals c here 4 here 7 and again here it's 12 7 are 84 so the answer is c is equal to 48 then finding the value of d 12 by 12 by 21 equals 20 by d so 12 into d equal to 20 into 21 therefore d is equal to 20 into 21 divided by 12 so here 5 here 3 and here 7 finally the answer is it's 35 so now the question is find the value of this given expression so what is first part here a plus b so 32 plus 63 it is 95 then plus c minus d c minus d in the sense 48 minus 35 it's 13 it's 13 so here just put 13 then what is 95 plus 13 108 option b is the right one question number 33 the volume of two spheres are in the ratio 216 is to 125 the difference of their surface areas if the sum of their radii is 11 unit is so options are over here so the question is the volume of two spheres are in the ratio 216 is to 125 so ratios are given in the form of sorry a volume of a sphere is given in the form of ratio so we can write like this v1 by v2 that is 216 divided by 125 so what is the volume of sphere what is the formula for volume of a sphere it's um, 4 by 3 pi r cube right so volume of uh, the first sphere can be written as 4 by 3 pi r cube and the volume of second sphere can be written as small letter r i am using because both the radius can be different and here if the sum of their radii is 11 units so r plus small letter r which is equals 1 so i am rewriting this equation as r is equal to 11 minus r so that i can substitute this value in the given uh, in the above equation so what do i get when i substitute this uh, value over here it's 216 divided by 125 equals this 4 by 3 pi 4 by 3 pi would cancel then for r capital letter r i can write 11 minus r whole cube in the denominator you write as it is it's r cube right so this 216 can be written as 6 cube and 125 can be written as 5 cube so 6 cube by 5 cube which equals 11 minus r whole cube divided by r cube so all the cube get cancelled so the remaining thing is it's 6 by 5 which equals 11 minus r divided by r so now the equation is 6r equal to 55 minus 5r so 6r minus 5R. If, if you transpose this minus 5R to this side, it become plus. So, you will be getting 11R is equal to 55. Therefore, R is equal to 5. So, the radius of the second figure, uh, second sphere is it's 5. Then, what is the radius of the first sphere? Just substitute the value over here. 11 minus 5 is equal to 6. So, capital letter R is equal to 6 units and small letter R is equal to 5. So now you got the radius of both the sphere. The question is the difference of their surface area. What is the difference of their surface area? What is the formula for surface area of a sphere? It's 4 by 4 pi r square, right? So here difference asked means so 4 pi r square minus 
4 pi small letter r use just differentiate both the spheres both the spheres so now we can take 4 pi as common so the remaining thing is capital letter r min r square minus small letter r square so 4 pi what is r here capital letter r h6 no so 6 square in the sense it is 36 and small letter r is 5 so 5 square is 25 so 4 pi 36 minus 25 is it's 11 so finally the answer is it's 44 pi square units so this is the difference of their surface area difference of two spheres difference of surface area of a two spheres hence the answer is it's 44 pi square units answer is it's option d question number 34 sujata is of the same age as nikita nikita is of the same age as ankita which Euclid's axiom illustrate that Sujata is of the same age as Ankita? Let's write down Sujata age is same as the Nikita. In the same way, Nikita's age is same as the age of Ankita. Which Euclid axiom illustrate that Sujata is of same age of An Ankita? Yes, it's a first axiom. What does it say? Things which are equal to the same thing because Sujata age is equal to Nikita and Ankita's age is, age is equal to Nikita's age. Hence, things which are equal to same thing are equal to one another. So, definitely Sujata's age is as same as the Ankita. Hence, option A is the right one. Question number 35, solve for Y. So just solve the given expression, use distributed law, 15 into 2 is, it's 30, 30 minus 15y, minus 5y, minus 30, divided by, so not divided by, just transpose the denominator to the opposite side, so 10 bracket, 1 minus 3y. So simplify the like terms, 30 minus 30 would cancel each other minus 15y minus 5y becomes minus 20y here 10 minus 30y so transpose the variable to on one side and keep the constant on other side so here the answer is here 10y is equal to 10 so 10 10 would cancel the answer is it's 1 hence option c is the right one next section is everyday mathematics in this, you will be having 10 questions, each carry one mark. Question number 36. In a bag, there are 3 green, 4 black and 5 red marbles. Ruchi picks a marble at random and notes the color of the marble. What is the probability of getting a black marble? So, what is the probability of getting a marble? So, what is the total outcome? Just add all the color, all the colors. 3 green, 4 black and 5 red balls. So, so totally how much you have? 12. So that this is the total uh, total outcome. Then what is, a, uh, what is a favorable outcome here? We are going to take a black marble. So probability of getting a black marble is it's 4. So out of 12, there is a probability of getting a chance of 4 black marbles. So 4 by 12. So the answer is it's 1 by 3. It's option A is the right one. Question number 37, P, Q and R alone can do a piece of work in 80 days, 36 days and 54 days respectively. They start the work together but Q and R leave one day and five days respectively before the completion of work. In how many days has the work been completed? So the question is, P, Q, R can do a piece of work in 18, 36 and 54 days. So let me take what is one day of piece of work. It's 1 by 18. In the same way, what is 
वन डे ऑफ क्यूज वर्क इट्स वन बाई थर्टी सिक्स एंड वन डे ऑफ आर वर्क इज इक्वल टू वन बाई फिफ्टी फोर so let the work is fini finished in x number of days we don't know how many days it will take so let the work is finished let the work is finished in x days so let the work is finished in x days means then P works for x days. If P works for x days, mean what is the work done by P here? Yes, P does x by eighteen work. In the question, Q leave the job in one day, right? so q works for x minus 1 day so q does x minus 1 by 36 work then r so before the completion of 5 days r works for x minus 5 days so how much work he does r does x minus 5 by 54 that's all so when we add all the works p q and r the sum of their works is equal to the whole work sum of their works which is equal to the whole work so let me consider the whole work as 1 so what is p here it's x by 18 q is x minus 1 by 36 and r is x minus 1 by 54 So the next step is you have to take LCM for eighteen thirty six fifty four. So what is the LCM for eighteen thirty six fifty four? It is one not eight. Okay, it is one not eight. Now what is the next step? We have to take LCM. So LCM for eighteen thirty six fifty four is it's one not eight. Let's write down. So you have to make the denominator as one not eight. So you have to multiply with uh, I think six. So in the numerator, you will be getting six, and the next part here, denominator is thirty-six. Just just by multiplying with the three, you will be getting one out eight. So in numerator also, you have to multiply with the three. So you will be getting three x minus three, and here you have to multiply with the two. So you will be getting one out eight. So both the numerator and denominator has to be multiplied by two. Yes. So in the denominator, you will be getting one not eight is equal to one. So in the next step, six x. Let me simplify this. All the like terms, six x plus three x plus two x. How much it will get? It's eleven x. And minus three minus ten, you will be getting minus thirteen equals one not eight. So eleven x equals one not eight. Plus thirteen. It's equal to one twenty one. So x is equal to one twenty one divided by eleven is equal to eleven. So x is eleven days. What is x here? X is the let the work is finished in x day. So let the work is finished in eleven days. Hence option B is the right one. Question number thirty eight. Two. Two thirty meter and one twenty meter long trains are running towards each other on the parallel tracks at the rate of forty two kilometer per hour and forty eight kilometer per hour respectively. What time 
will they take to cross each other from the moment they meet so just go to the option so in the time is given in seconds but here the kilometer the speed is given in 42 km per hour so you have some conversion in this let's start the problem first you have two trains two long trains are running towards each other so towards each other means what you have to do you have to add both the distance total distance of the train right because they are running towards each other means you have to add both the both the uh, both the length of the train that is right so what is the total distance here so total distance it's 230 plus 120 So the total distance is is three fifty meter, and the same way you have to add speed also. Total speed here is forty two plus forty eight. It's ninety kilometer per hour. So now we have to make a conversion. Uh, the answer which is given now here it is in in seconds. So just convert the kilometer per hour into meter per second just by multiplying with the five by eighteen. So eighteen will cancel this ninety for five times. So the answer is it's twenty five meter per second. The question is what time? No. So what is the time formula? So time is equal to distance by speed. Distance by speed. So what is the total distance here? It's three fifty meter, and the time is it's twenty five meter per meter per second. So hence the answer is. Yes, this twenty five would cancel three fifty for fourteen times. Hence, the answer is it's fourteen seconds. Option D is the right one. Question number thirty nine. The cost of a cap is thrice the cost of a ball. If the cost of a cap cap is x rupees and that of ball is y rupees, then a linear equation in two variables to represent the given condition is. Here the cost of a cap is three times the cost of the ball, so x is equal to three y. Just rewrite this equation in the form of a linear equation in two variable, so x minus three y is equal to zero. What is the standard form for linear equation? It's a x plus b y plus c is equal to zero. So the answer is it's option B. X minus three y equal to zero. Question number forty. Ravi has some money with him. He gave fifty percentage of it to Richa, thirty percentage to Shreya, and sixty percentage of the remaining was donated to a charity. If he is still left with eight thousand forty, then the money he initially had had was. So let the money um, he initially had as let us assume it as X. So let the total money. Is X rupees. He gave fifty percentage of it to Richa. So how much Richa has? Fifty percentage of X. That is fifty by hundred into X equals zero zero cancel. Then five. Five by ten is one by two. So it's X by two amount. Richa has, then Shreya has thirty percentage. Shreya thirty percentage of X. So thirty by hundred into X zero zero cancel. So three X by ten rupees. And the remaining amount is donated to charity. Sixty percentage of the remaining amount. So first, we have to find out what is the remaining amount. So the remaining amount, it's x minus x by two min plus just put a bracket plus three x by ten. Then remove with the bracket x minus x by two minus three x by ten. So the here LCM is it's ten. So ten x 
minus 5x minus 3x divided by 10. 10x minus 8x by 10 is equal to 10x minus 2 8x is its 2x 2x by 10 g equals x by 5 so the remaining amount is x by 5 so in this he have he has given 60 percentage of amount to the charity so let me find out what is the 60 percentage of x by 5 so 60 by 100 into x by 5 so 0 0 get cancel so the remaining amount is 3x by 25 so the question is if he is still left with 8040 then the money he initial had was so this 8040 must be equal to x minus money which richa has and money which Streya has and money which is given to charity 3x by 25 right now what you have to do you have to take LCM for 2 10 and 25 the LCM for 22 10 25 is it's 50 so 50x minus 25x minus 15x minus 25 2s are 6x by 50 so just simplify the numerator 25 plus 15 it's 40 40 plus 6 is 46 so 50x minus 46x divided by 50. So in the left hand side you have 8040. Just transpose the 50 to the opposite side which equals 4x. Therefore x is equal to 8040 into 50 divided by so 8040 will go in four table and uh, four table no how many times two fours are eight zero one zero two zero one zero times so when you multiply two zero one zero into fifty how much you will be getting it's option b so when you multiply 2010 into 50 you will be getting one lakh 500 rupees so finally the money which he had initially was it's 1 lakh 500 rupees option b is the right one question number 41 the diameter of a roller is 70 centimeter if the length of a roller is 90 centimeter and it takes 400 revolutions to move once over to level the ground what area will it cover to level the ground so to level the ground the roller has to take 400 revolution so what is the shape of the roller it's it's like a cylinder you know the shape of the roller it's like a cylinder so which surface will touch the ground ground what part of the surface or what part of the cylinder would touch the ground yes it's definitely it's curved surface of a cylinder curved just assume the roller is a cylinder so the curved surface area of a cylinder would touch the ground. So we need to find out what is the CSA of a roller. Curved surface of a roller. So what is the formula for CSA of a cylinder? It's 2 pi r h no. Yes. 2 into pi you can put 2 22 by 7. And what is radius here? Diameter is given no. So then radius is it's 35. And length of the roller is nothing but its height of the roller. So height is 90. So just cancel out. 2 into 22 into 5 into 90. When you multiply you will be getting 792. Yes. It's 70. 
नाइन लैक्स ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड वॉट इज द यूनिट ओवर हियर इट्स सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर बट इन योर क्वेश्चन दे हैव गिवन यू इन स्क्वायर मीटर दे हैव गिवन द स्क्वायर यूनिट्स जस्ट कन्वर्ट दिस मीटर स्क्वायर सॉरी सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर इन टू मीटर स्क्वायर सो वन सेंटीमीटर इज ईक्वल टू वन बाई हंड्रेड मीटर देन वॉट इज वन सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर इट्स वन बाई टेन थाउजेंड मीटर स्क्वायर सो नाउ वी हैव सेवेंटी नाइन लैक्स ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर देन हाउ डू यू कन्वर्ट सेवेंटी नाइन लैक्स ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाई टेन थाउजेंड so these zeros get cancelled so the remaining answer is it's 792 square meter hence the answer is it's option a question number 42 sumit and anil borrowed 2500 and 3000 respectively at the same rate of simple interest for 2 1 by 2 years if anil paid rupees 200 more interest than sumit then what is the rate of interest so borrowed amount is 62503000 so principal is given and the rate of of interest we need to find out and the number of years is it's to 1 by 2 years the condition here is if anil paid 200 more interest than sumit so we have a formula right simple interest formula so according to the question according to the condition the simple interest paid by anil in the same way simple interest paid by sumit it's 200 rupees more than sumit so equal to 200 so si paid by anil we have the formula just substitute the simple interest formula prt by 100 no so principal is it's 3000 and r we need to find Number of years is two one by two. Just convert this mixed fraction into improper. You will be getting five by two. Five by two. So zero zero get cancel. And two would cancel fifteen. So fifteen five are seventy five r minus. And here also you apply the simple interest formula. What is the amount? It's two thousand five hundred. Sumit borrowed two thousand five hundred into R hundred into two. The zero zero get cancel. So what is twenty five? Just convert into decimal part, right? So twenty five divided by two. How much? Twenty five divided by two. Twelve two is R twenty four. So twelve point five. So twelve point five into five. You will be getting sixty two point five R, which equals two hundred. When you subtract seventy five minus sixty two point, you will be getting twelve point five R equals two hundred. Then R is equal to two hundred divided by twelve point five. So what you do means just take down the decimal. So twelve point five can be written as two one twenty five by ten no. So just put the ten in the numerator. Now two hundred divided by one twenty five. So now we'll cancel in five table. This will go for forty times, and this will go for two two are ten and twenty five times. Again eight five and this will five will cancel this ten for two times. So eight two are sixteen. Hence. The rate of interest per annum is it's sixteen percentage. Option C is the right one. Question number forty three. An employee works in a company on a contract of thirty days on the condition that he will receive rupees one twenty for each day he works and he will be fined rupees ten for each day he is absent. If he receives two thousand three hundred in all, then how for then for how many days did he remain absent? So question is you need to find for how many days he absent no so let me take the number of days that employee was absent as x number of days
number of days that employee and employee was absent let me take it as x but total number of uh, days the contract days is it's 30 no so let me write down the number of days employee works he works you have to subtract the absent days from the total number of days that is 30 minus x so the question is he received 2300 in all and for how many days did he remain absent now we'll write the equation for this given condition he is getting 2300 but for how many days he worked and how many days he absent so if he worked for some days means he must be getting 120 rupees for those days and if he was absent means he will be fined 10 rupees for each day so you have to multiply the 10 rupees with the number of days he is absent and finally you have to subtract you have to subtract the absent days from the number of days total number of days he has worked so this is what i have written here this is number of days he has worked and this one is number of days he has absent for working days he has paid by 120 rupees for non-working days he will be fined by 20, for what 20 rupees so now simplify this equation 30 into 120 so 12 threes are 36 so 3600 minus 120x minus 10x equals 2300 so 3600 minus 130x equals 2300 minus 130x is equal to 3000 sorry 2300 minus 3600 so what you will get 3600 then you subtracting to 2300 from 3600 it's 1300 in left hand side 130x so 0 0 get cancelled and 1313 will cancel so remaining 10 will be there minus x is equal to here also you have to put minus sign so minus x is equal to minus 10 minus minus cancel x is equal to 10 so number of days he was absent how many days it was 10 days so the answer for this question is it's option a question number 44 length breadth and height of a cube bottle tank are uh, 2x minus 5 meter and 2x plus 5 meter and 4x square plus y square meter so these are the uh, measurement of the given dimension so find the volume of the tank so the tank is in the shape of cuboid so what is the formula for volume of cuboid it's l into b into h so just multiply the given measurement 2x minus y multiplies 2x plus y multiplies 4x square plus y square so you can see these uh, two factors no it looks like a plus b into a minus b so a plus b into a minus b can be written as a square minus b square no so now we'll write the same thing to a square minus b square so that is 2x whole square minus y square into 4x square plus y square again 2x square minus y square can be written as 4x square minus y square into 4x square plus y square again these factors looks like a plus b into a minus b so you can rewrite this this given factors in a square minus b square format so what you will get 4 square whole square minus y square whole square so 4x square whole square means 16x to the power 4 minus y to the power 4 and the answer is it's option c question number 45 where trader makes a profit of 10 percentage on an article by selling it after allowing a discount of 20 percentage 
If he allows a discount of 10 percentage only, then find his profit percentage. Hello. Um, here the article is a uh, selling after allowing a discount of 20 percentage. So then let me take the marked price. Marked price be 100 rupees. So after allowing a discount of 20 percentage, then what is the selling price? 100 minus 20 percentage of 100. 20 percentage of 100. What is 20 percentage of 100? It's 20 rupees only. It's 20 only. So 100 minus 20 is it's 80 rupees. So after allowing the discount of 20 percentage, the selling price of an article is 80 rupees. So in this, a trader makes a profit of 10 percentage. Then what is the cost price? So we have the formula. What is the cost price? 100 profit, no? So 100 divided by 100 plus profit percentage into selling price. Okay, so after allowing the discount also, he made a profit, no? So, CP is equal to 100 plus 100 plus profit percentage into SP. Just substitute 100. What is profit percentage here? It's 10 percentage. So, just write 10. Into, what is SP here? It's 80 rupees. Right. Now the question is. So 100 divided by 110 into 80. So 0, 0 get cancelled. You will be getting 800 divided by 11 rupees. So this is the cost price of an article. In the second point, if he allows a discount of 10% only, then find his profit percentage. Now, the selling price is the new, new selling price. 100 minus because he made a discount of 10%, no? so 100 minus 10% of 100. So 10% of 100 means it's 10 only. So 100 minus 10 is it's 90. So again selling price is 90, 90, then what is his profit percentage? So here we need to find profit percentage, no? What is the formula for profit percentage? It's profit amount divided by cost price into 100. Do we know what is the profit amount here? We don't know. But we have the formula. So, how do you get the profit amount? Yes, profit means selling price is greater than the cross price. So, selling price minus cost price, you will be getting the profit amount. So, just rewrite this equation as SP minus CP divided by CP into 100. So, just substitute the given values. What is selling price here? It's 90 rupees. What is cost price here? It's 800 by 11 and divided by the selling price is 800 by 11 into 100 now solve this equation so 90 into 11 it's 990 take lcm in the numerator part 800 by 11 into 800 by 11 into 100 so this 11 11 Cancel with each other. So what is 990 minus 800? It's 190 by 800 into 100. Now these two zero zeros. Now these two. What is the next step? Now these two zero get cancelled with each other. So the remaining part is 190 divided by 8. See the answer, it is given in next fraction, no? So just divide 190 by 8. 2 times 8 is it 16. So remaining is 30. The 
30 how many times 3 24 remaining is 6 so hence the answer is 23 6 by 8 and this fraction no you can simplify that is 3 3 by 4 so the profit percentage is it's 23 3 by 4 percentage hence the answer is it's option D